Of people found comfort in sharing their sadness, praying and lighting candles in memory of a Lawrence mother. Police say a neighbor is responsible for her death. As WBZ's Julie McDonald shows us, tonight's vigil was a chance for her friends and loved ones to grieve together. Holding her daughter's image in her arms, Carol Floss's mother was inconsolable at a vigil in Lawrence Thursday night, tearfully recalling how their family's horror unfolded Saturday morning. The nine-year-old daughter started calling her and said, Grandma, I'm scared, I'm scared. I haven't seen my mom in three hours. The kids had never been left alone. The mom feels that's the time when all this was happening and her daughter felt it. Carol Floss was last seen alive visiting a neighbor's unit that morning. Surveillance video showed her texting, then making the sign of the cross before she entered Christian Montero's apartment. There are still questions about what happened inside, but the city's mayor said Floss's kindness and trust cost her her life. She attended when he called because she, she had an idea. The guy, he's a good friend. Pay attention. The close friend sometimes is the most dangerous person you have in your life. Music and prayer filled the air Thursday outside the large complex where Floss lived her life and raised her kids. Lawrence leaders spoke out against violence and many of the mothers holding their own children celebrated a woman whose legacy is kindness and caring. How come this is going to happen to her? She was the person who always like talked to me. How do you feel? How you are doing today? Do you need me to for something else? So her, all her clients remember her as a lovely person. And the suspect arrested and arraigned in connection with this case has yet to be charged with murder. Investigators say the medical examiner's official ruling might not come until next week. In Lawrence, I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News. All right, Julie, thank you.